Hello guys, Julia here and today I have a card for the Gerda Steiner design team and we have a new release with super cute squirrels. I want to create a fall themed card and I want to create my own background paper and for that I'm using three different colors of distress inks. Uh, I think this is ripe persimmon, then I'm using walnut stain and I'm going to replace vintage photo later on with a different color that I don't remember right now but I will tell you once we get to that. So I'm starting out by sponging in my red, which will be the lightest color. So I'm going to cover the entire piece of paper with the red. Then I'm coming in with the walnut stain and darkening up a few spots. And I don't remember which crafter said that once, um, but they recommended to also work in threes, you know, like you arrange sequence in groups of threes. Um, they also said like to do s similar things when you blend different distress colors together simply so it would look pleasing to the eye. So that's what I'm trying to do here. And then when I go in with the vintage photo, the difference to the walnut stain is not noticeable. So it's basically just brown mush. And I wasn't happy with that, so I switched over to spiced marmalade, the big reveal, <laughs> to spiced marmalade because I want this to be a little warmer. I want this to glow a little bit more, you know, like fall leaves um, that that are hit by the sunlight and that really glow in these golden and warm colors. That's the that's the color I'm trying to achieve here. Don't worry about the middle, we'll be covering that up. So I just want the outside, the borders to look really, really amazing. And I'm really happy about how this turned out. I don't use the stressings often enough, I think. So now I'm using Perfect Pearls, the gold Perfect Pearls, and I'm doing what Jennifer McGuire recently showed on her YouTube channel, and that is adding the Perfect Pearls directly over the still wet distress ink. And uh, you don't have to worry if it looks streaky, um, because you can come in, at least that's uh, what I'm going to do, you can come in, for example, with a dry baby wipe and just wipe this around, and then you will smooth that out so it doesn't look streaky anymore. And it's very easy and fast to do, but the effect is really great. I'm so happy Jennifer showed this to us because now I have this really sweet um, golden shimmer. And yes, I got this embossing folder, this next level embossing folder um, after seeing Jennifer McGuire use it because I was like, is the effect really as strong as I see it there or is that just good photography? Not that I'm doubting you, Jennifer, but I was really curious. So, and it's really, it's fantastic. You get an amazing impression. And that just reminds me of a basket. You know, like the colors, the fall colors and the texture reminds me of a basket where you would collect um, ripe apples or, or leaves or nuts or mushrooms or whatever you collect in the fall. That's what it reminded me of. That's why I got this particular um, pattern of the embossing folder. When you buy it, you actually get two in one pack. It's, uh, I have a different pattern as well. So I adhered this to my card base and I die cut this white tag with a pretty pink posh die. You will find a list of all the supplies that I'm using in the description below. You can just click a link and shop them right away. And I'm punching, this is a very inexpensive uh, punch here that I just, I don't even know where I bought it. Um, and I'm just punching two holes here so I can add some twine later on. First of all though, I'm going to color and um, I'm stamping the squirrel from the new release in Memento Tuxedo Black ink because that will not bleed when I color with Copic markers. And then I'm stamping this little nut here as a, um, like on the ground, I'm just um, scattering it across to give the squirrel some grounding. I will play some music for you during the coloring and catch you on the flip side.
Alrighty, then I was done with the coloring and I'm using some green twine and then I'm I, that took me like minutes again to get the perfect bow but I figured after I had put so much effort into creating the card I could spend a few minutes getting the bow right right I put some foam tape behind the tag and adhered it to the um, to my embossed panel here and here's a close-up of the coloring that I've done with the cute squirrel um, the green uh, tie here that ties it a little bit together. Ha! Huh, that was smart. Um, I hope you enjoyed the card and the techniques I showed you. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!